yeah hi guys good evening one and all we'll wait for 5 minutes meanwhile you can post your uh, stuff related to preparation preferably no doubts <laughs> not doubts related to the subject so rest everything like questions confusions everything you can post on the chat box so that i'll try to address them how are you first basically how are you feeling what is happening inside don't ask me anything related to exam postponement or something <laughs> there are few gr groups lots of things are happening in many groups and i hope you are away from those groups and focusing on preparation i did be even if exam is postponed exam is not postponed whatever it is uh, the the ultimate goal of an aspirant is to focus on preparation and read okay if you are on revision mode what whatever happens that is going to be good for you at the end of the day a revision if you are on revision if you are focusing on yes it's wonderful your preparation is going extraordinary i want you to be active share your feelings try to share your stress levels i'll try to help you out in few things okay uh, so that uh, we can make this uh, session basically as a stress breaker the main motto of this session like probably every alternate today i'll be coming on live uh, for few uh, minutes maybe probably for 20 to 30 minutes so that i'll i'll definitely create something a positive impact on your brain and uh, definitely um, uh, stress breaker of course grand examination solving will take time you cannot if you want you can you can skip it it will take time of course exam will take time 3 hours it's must there is no solution for such questions don't worry about marks it's not time to worry about uh, marks or it's not time to worry about scores okay how many days are left over how many days are left over 16 how many hours we are reading per day maximum on an average maybe 10 hours so 10 into 16 how many hours left over for us 160 hours so don't expect some magics to be happened in this 160 hours magic should be happened Uh, in the first half of the preparation like probably 6 months 8 months you have started the preparation 10 months you have started the preparation few people are reading from past 2 years magic should happen there okay so now 160 hours no magics are going to happen okay so there is no point of breaking your head so the point of this 160 hours of this 16 days is to how to make your preparation more effective and how to end up with a decent rank the goal is to end up with a better rank or a decent rank okay don't expect some extraordinary magics to be happened in this last couple of uh, days i'm let's try to be so logical uh, come uh, come to the practical world at least in this 16 days you have to come to the practical the more the time you spend the more the revision you do the smart the preparation this last 16 days will definitely give you some extra uh, extra edge extra score maybe 5 marks extra or 6 marks extra right no it's not frustration uh, it's not basically frustration like uh, frustration comes only when you are not able to make things up to your expectation so that's what i'm telling don't expect magics to happen so whenever you don't expect extraordinary things to happen and just go with the pace of uh, uh, the revision or go with the pace of the preparation uh, using the day more effective and compared to what you have done previously then the frustration will automatically drop down like frustration comes only when you are uh not clear in what you are doing or what for what you are doing in such cases you will get frustration so i think that's not in a perfect word like even i get frustrated like this is this is the ninth batch uh, this is an eighth batch of mds conquer i have i i i made my preparation for 3 years so it's almost like 11 years preparation so i'm reading everything what you are doing i'm reading everything because before i release a question paper i have to check each and everything before i take a class i have to check each and everything so i don't get frustrated uh, sometimes i'm i'll just go out of my control okay so maybe uh, the, the reasons are different like aspects are different okay 
So, and I should not use the term uh, frustrated for all this stuff. Okay. So that's what like uh, regularly we see, we see the people, uh, I mean, we see the students after the result uh, or like we talk with the people who are going to attend the success meet, maybe it may not be like all of the people may not attend the success meet, but after interacting with so many students on the day of success meet or on after the result, uh, like people who are very happy with the result or satisfactory with the results. The result means always don't imagine that the result will always come with a state single digit or an all India single digit. Don't expect such things. Uh, satisfaction can come at any rank. Few people, they may be satisfied with 2000 all India or few people, they may be satisfied with 1000 or 3000. I'm just telling that uh, I was talking to uh, students after the result and their families uh, after the result. Okay, so the gratitude call probably after the result or a message, gratitude message. Like uh, in most of the students who are happy with their ranks or who has achieved the single digits or the extraordinary, extraordinary ranks or GDCs and all these people. Uh, uh, I mean, like they, I have seen that coolness and calmness in their preparation phase. They don't don't overreact to the situation. That is the that is the most required. Even I overreact to the situation. I am telling, like when I was preparing, you can ask me why you have taken three attempts because I overreact to the situation. So now you have more margin of error, 240 questions. But when I was giving my entrance examination, we don't have that margin of error. We we our examination is for hundred marks. 100 MCQs. So we don't have that margin of error. Like whenever people overreact to the situation, so they're going to destroy that margin of error and your rank will totally change. So that's what happened. Like my preparation was decent uh, at all the phases, but uh, why I don't end up with a uh, uh, good rank in the first and second phases, I overreact to the situation. I, I overreact to the situation. I focus more on doubts. I focus more on doubt clarification. I focus more on uh, clearing the doubts of my co-aspirants. I'm more active on social media. We don't have Instagram at the time, but I'm more active on Facebook. I'm more active on uh, uh, this WhatsApps uh, groups and everything, where anything like I'm, th that is basic. That is the main reason why I spoiled my uh, preparation a lot. So that is the reason why I always show concern to, to the aspirants that uh, be careful about your preparation because I, I'm okay with my preparation during the first and second run, but why I spoiled, uh, I don't end up with some th something great, which I de really deserve is I'm going out of box, unnecessary aspects, unnecessary stuff. Okay, so let's start the main motto of this session. Ready? I want you to back to 200 odd up there. Decent, decent fight. 200 odd can give a decent fight from MDS Conquer to this uh, neat uh, examination, which is on March 1st, as of now, official date. I want you to be active, energetic, more active, more energetic. Climax of a movie should always be interesting here. Do you accept it or not? I hope like as an Indians, we watch more movies, right? So climax that half an hour, last half an hour or 20 minutes, you expect some extraordinary things to happen and end up with a, a decent end, right? So this is almost a climax. You're almost, you're almost at the climax phase. So if you are planning to give a great story after the result, let it be any rank, maybe 2000, 3000, 4000 or 5000, because I still remember the most happiest rank till the date to me, uh, the most happiest gratitude call after the result till the date to me is a rank. A woman got 5500 rank. She has two kids. Never thought of doing MDS. Right now she is doing endo in one of the college. She has a reservation. Uh, I still remember those words like after the result, not after the result, after the counseling. Uh, she called me. She was continuously crying on the phone. Uh, and I was so emotional on that day. I was uh, still remember those days. She was continuously crying. And finally, she told, like, uh, uh, enter my family, my illness. Uh, they have decided I'm, I'm fit for nothing. I'm fit for nothing. But uh, finally, uh, I, I don't know how I prepared, but I, I, I don't know what I have done, but I have given my best and I end up with some 4,000 or 5,000 odd rank, which is a very decent rank in my category. And I got an endo seat. Now I'm going to college every day, uh, dressed up with an apron and the same illas who has degraded me now uh, are scared to see me. Uh, now they're praising me. Now they're, they're proud of me. Okay, so things in the family just changes uh, basing upon uh, uh, the position in the profession, what we take, sir. So I'm very, very happy for this, sir. So that, that made me more emotional compared to single digit ranks uh, where many of the students uh, in the past has achieved.
Okay. Uh, so what I what I strongly believe is rank is just a number. You 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 your number. You I mean like what you are expecting is going to be different. What others are expecting is going to be different. Like the gratitude, uh, the part will be same. Let it be a five thousand rank if she's happy. Uh, I, I'll be happy. Okay, let it be a, uh, rank rank 90. She may not be happy because she's expecting 50 below. If she end up with 90, she may not be. Okay, so so this all fight, what we are going to do in the upcoming few days is just for a number. Okay, so number is not going to determine the life. Number may determine your college. Number may determine your department. Number may determine your lifestyle in the upcoming three years. But number is not going to determine your life in dentistry. It's you that's going to determine how positive you are, how good you are, how talkative you are, how innovative you are. These are not depend. These these factors are not going to depend upon a number. Okay, if you get a good rank, good seat, ah, oh, extraordinary, great. Even if you don't end up with something extraordinary uh, beyond your expectations, you can do magics. Okay, you can do magics, right? Uh, because I have seen many of my, look, the best example is my batchmate. We are a batch of six and I still remember our state ranks were around like 20, 30. 20, it's all like 20, 20, 30, uh, the top three and followed by three people are from management quota. And the out of these six, the best I mean, as of now, who is making good money, as of now, who is making uh, making good practice, energetic, is is, a, is is my batchmate who is from management quota. Okay. So rank is going to just give you something. Okay. But rank is not about everything. So there are lots of things that you need to learn and practice in the future. Okay. So my first few points is already posted on the group. The most important points for this upcoming 16 days. Okay, we're already done with a day. So we are left over with 15 days. Okay, the first and foremost thing, I'm going to tell what to be done in the upcoming uh, 11 days followed by what to be done in the upcoming four days. So it's 11 plus four, total 15. I hope this is very, very clear. 11 plus four, total 15 days. And of course, the four last four days, you have to, you have to break it into three plus one. It means last one day, your goal should be different. So before that three days, your goal should be different. And these 11 days, your goal should be different. I hope this is clear. 11 plus three plus one. Is it clear? I'm not using any pen or I'm not using anything. I just want to talk more, interact with you more. It's 11 plus three plus one, total 15 days. Last one day, goals are different. Okay, last one day, goals are different. So 11 plus three, 14 days is the target. First and foremost thing, I want you, uh, I want a quick response from you. How many of you have deactivated your Instagram and Facebook accounts. How many of you have deactivated your Instagram and Facebook? This is the first thing what we have taken today. Okay. How many of you have done it? Please go and do it. Please go and do it. Please go and do it because this, this social media is destroying the preparation. What we used to prepare, what my first batch, second batch students used to prepare is totally different. We used to have more human interaction, more interaction should be more interaction is there. We used to talk frequently every day. I used to talk with every student every day. The first batch, I still remember, we used to have 255 admissions. The first batch, I used to talk with every student in a week, every student that is possible. This is destroying the human interaction. We are not talking, we are searching. We are not talking with the mentor. We are searching everything we want to search on the Google. Okay, so I want every one of you to deactivate your Instagram and Facebook. And I want everyone to, I mean, probably Telegram is not a biggest source of uh, uh, exchange. I want you to deactivate your Telegram groups, nonsense groups they are. Okay, deactivate your Telegram. And make sure the third one is use your mobile and WhatsApp as minimal as possible. Okay, as me, probably half an hour in the morning. Uh, whenever you're taking your lunch break, it's not mandatory that you have to be active for a session. Maybe you should be active for a live session, but not for a regular session. Don't mind. Even if you're not active, I'll be posting whatever I thought of posting. Whenever I thought of posting, I'm going to post my notes. I'm going to post my voice notes and everything. So whenever you want, you can take it. Keep it half an hour in the morning. In the morning half, preferably when you're going for an afternoon lunch, okay, you can keep your phone on and check out your missed calls, check out your WhatsApp messages, whatever that is important, go it. Whatever that's not important, ignore it. So after 16 days, you can get back everything. And similarly, go with the phone. Don't take your phones to the offline centers. Don't take your phones to the library. Don't keep your phones because phone is the biggest distraction in these 16 days. Okay, so I want you to follow these three principles. 
Instagram, Facebook, logouts, don't delete the accounts. They're important in the future. Uh, Telegram, you can uh, uninstall now and you can reinstall after, after March 1st exam. Use WhatsApp and mobile as minimal as possible. Don't talk with negative people. Please underline this word. People who are making your preparation better, people who talk to you better, people who motivate you, only talk with those people. Don't pick those calls. Don't replay the messages of your batchmates or your seniors or your juniors telling that exam will be postponed, that this, this nonsense, please don't do any such things. Let it be. It's good if exam is postponed. If it is too good, if it's not postponed, everything is good for us, right? So if you are focusing on preparation, you are on a good phase. So don't expect some magics to be happened. Stick on to the basics. Give exams on only the big screens because your final exam is going to be on a desktop with a high resolution, brightness and everything. So I want everyone who are giving exams, don't worry about scores. Scores are not important. Final exam score is important. Whatever you do now, final exam score will be the final exam score. If you do better, the score will be better. If you do bad, the score will be bad. Okay. It doesn't mean that if, you, if your performance is suddenly increased in this last few examinations, it doesn't mean you will get an extraordinary score in the final exam. Do you, do you accept this principle? Okay, for example, the next few mocks I'm going to give very easy. I'm going to discuss the questions day before the exam. Same questions I'm going to give. I'm going to improve your scores. It means you'll get a, you'll get a great scores in the final exam. Do you accept this? It's not sensible. It's not sensible. I can do that. I'll do that. Don't worry. But it's not sensible. So there's no point of breaking your head for a score in the examination. The point is to understand the exam, understand the time management, Okay, understand the number of questions to be attempted, understand the questions where you are going wrong, understand the concepts where you are going wrong. So don't compare MDS Conquer mocks to other test series or other institutes. We has the highest number of mock exams. 25 is very, very high compared to any other institute. So your GTs are 25. 25 into 240, it's going to hit around 6,000 MCQs, 6,000 concepts you are learning. So you see what you are learning. Don't see what you are scoring. Is it clear? See what you are learning, what you are understanding, what you are overcoming, how you are... Uh, how you're trying to correct your mistakes. Try to focus on those aspects because those aspects are important. See, we never used to talk about what uh, someone is doing in your in their net practice. We never see like Virat Kohli, uh, Virat Kohli hit five centuries in the net practice. We don't see that. We always talk about the reality of a match. We always talk about the final match. We don't talk about what the players are doing in the net practice, right? So similarly, whatever exams you're giving here is net practice. What is the purpose of net practice? To identify the mistakes, learn the concepts, where you are going wrong. That is the purpose. It's not about you score extraordinary, I score extraordinary. I am, oh, see, I see like a students are oh, very scoring extraordinary. They're going to get ranks. No, I never feel that happiness buzz after seeing your results. Okay, I'm just neutral whether you score extraordinary, whether you score, because I know the effect of it. Okay, but make sure give exams in desktop, give exams in the laptop. Please try to avoid phones at least now because there will be lots of difference uh, giving an exam on a phone and giving an exam on, on this high-end screens. Okay, so please do make a note of it. Uh, don't waste much of your time on doubts and controversial questions, basically. Okay, you check it off like the, uh, I can openly say, okay, Dental Pulse is a very high standard book. Okay, uh, uh, Neeraj Badwan is a very, a very good, good standard book. And of course, there is some dental triplet, dentist. There's so many books. Uh, okay, uh, uh, I'm, I'm telling, I'm openly telling. PB books are nothing in front of those books. I'm openly telling. In, in those standard books, which are being followed from past, uh, like probably from 10 to 15 years, uh, I think dentist has reached more than 20 years. Okay. So these are high standard books, which are more than experience of mine in dentistry. Uh, hardly how many years of uh, experience in dentistry I have is very minimal compared to the experience of these books. These books are only not able to solve the controversial questions. Okay. They give a different answer. These people are going to give a different answer. This year you want to come, you want to come and solve these controversial questions. Is, is this logic working out for you or not? There's no point why you're coming and tell me, sir, A, B, sir, this book C, that book D. What is the point? They are only not able to, they're, they're very good teachers. They're extraordinary authors. Their books were extraordinary. So what is the point of digging the same thing out uh, uh, in which you or I cannot to a, come to a conclusion for a particular question? So this is all waste of time. 
This is all waste of time according to me because I have seen myself and I have seen many of the students who waste. But I see the, the, the best rankers of the conquer after the result, they never post a question. They never, they never do all these things because they know revision is the most important thing. Most important thing, like you take a photograph, you drop it on a group, you drop it to me, you drop it to Sahiti, you drop it to Pratisha, waiting for the result. Then after the discussion, again, again, how much time you're wasting for a single concept? If you're really keen about the question, learn, I mean, leave about the question and options. Okay, leave about the question, underline concept, read the concept and move on. For example, there is one question on a particular thing, the controversial thing, different, different answers. Le read the concept, read the entire topic and move on. No need to take a photograph, edit it, post to me, post to that. It's waste of time. Now it's waste of time. All these things has to be done in the first half of the preparation, not now. Now this is a peak time that you keep on turning the pages. You, you keep on turning the MCQs, you keep on turning the volatile topics, volatile subjects. This is how the smart your preparation can be. Right? So, I mean, it's okay. Uh, you can post your doubts at any time. We are ready to help you out. Controversial questions, doubts, try to avoid it because they're going to save time. And you can implement these times on revising the volatile topics that's going to increase your confidence and scores in the examination. And of course, follow the group. Always follow the group. Each and every voice note, each and every line that is posted on the group is going to be very, 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 very important. Okay. And of course, the game plan is to trust yourself because you are the hero of your story and you're the hero of your movie. So you have to trust yourself. There's no other go that you have to trust and you have to believe yourself. Okay. Right. So these are the few things that I thought of discussing and coming to the plan of 11 plus three plus one. What is this 11 plus three plus one? So uh, basically, uh, I mean, like most of you, uh, if you have this list of things, what I'm listing out, please try to follow them. If you don't have, uh, you can, you can plan accordingly. The first and foremost important things, uh, I mean, it's mandatory that every day, two hours has to be given to the volatile content. Means content, what I read today, and there are high chances on the third day, I don't remember, I don't remember the content properly. So these are volatile contents that can be a volatile subject. I don't consider entire subject as a volatile subject, but I preferably consider there will be few topics, few contents in a particular subject, which are more volatile and which has to be repeated again, again, and again. Do you accept that volatile uh, topics and volatile contents will be there in every subject? Right. So every day, two hours, you can keep uh, for a volatile contents, like 16 days you have 16 into two, 32 hours exclusively for volatile contents. One thing is you already worked on the volatile content. And if you already mark them, if you already prepared a notes on them, if you already prepare a checklist on them, you go with your own pathway. No need to come in my path. There were few category students at every level. There will be few category students who are always in, in sort of that confusion, dilemma, big question marks on their face. Okay, such category of students, you can open your PP books and do the volatile content. Every day, one hour, one and a half hour, you can do PP books. Okay, because all the volatile contents, according to me, I have inserted in the PP books. Okay, you can do. So my suggestion for every one of you is every day, one to one and a half hour PP books. And PV books is not uh, a very condensed book. It is it is very spacious book. You can easily turn the pages. You can easily finish the things. Quick revision is going to help you out. So every day, one hour or one and a half hour volatile contents or power play books. The second important thing, every day, one hour repeats. Okay, that you can go either subject specific. Subject specific uh, can be done properly from your dental pulse or that can be year wise. If you want to do year wise, if you have nearest vat one, you can do year wise. Or if you don't have nearest vat one, if you have dental pulse, you can do subject specific. Means every subject repeats from 2017 to 2021 or 2022, you can do it. The previous papers are already inserted into the, uh, like uh, they're inserted in the topic specific activities, right? Right, so every day one hour PP books, one, one and a half hour, you can go with the repeats and uh, Offline students, as well as pro-life students, they have extra stuff. That is your pro-life papers are there, your offline papers are there. Okay, right? So I want you to do those papers at least one, one and a half hour per day. Uh, normal students, they don't have the access for these things. Okay, you can stick on to your regular plan. Okay, so one, one and a half hour for pro-life and offline, one hour for power playbooks, one hour for uh, repeats, 
and one to one and a half hour for previous mocks. You have to re revise the previous mocks. And that's what my suggestion for all of you is, don't revise everything. Uh, sir, I want to see every question. Keep on skip, 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 skip. No, you're done with already 20 examinations, 20 into, it's all like 5,000 MCQs. So that 5,000 times if you skip, six hours will be done. Okay, so it's not, it's it's pointless of revising each and everything. And I hope most of you have bookmarked the things. If you bookmark the things, go back and check the bookmark things. Uh, and wherever you feel like a classification is required, which is there in the synopsis or some, some stuff is there in the synopsis part or explanation part, go back and check it. But make sure you try to revise these mock exams very frequently. Okay, so one hour for power play books, one hour for repeats, either subject specific or year wise one hour for your pro live and offline papers and one hour for your uh, mock repeats and you can keep half an hour 40 minutes for your whatsapp activity whenever you have time you can go back and check on your mobile data or your wi-fi uh, all the all the all the things whatever i'm planning to discuss will be displayed on your whatsapp group and you can check them uh, randomly okay and make sure the next one is no need to answer your friends doubts in these 16 days you can if you want if you are very concerned about clearing the those doubts and helping them you can do it after uh, march first not now okay no need but now you have to focus only on yourself helping others yes good but not in this uh, not at the sacrifice of your 15 days because i told you right 15 days into 10 you hardly have 150 hours in that uh, is there anyone to give 10 hours to your friends close let it be close friends 150 hours are there 150 hours of your life is left over is there anyone who is ready to give 10 hours or 20 hours to your friends to clear their doubts or to clear the doubts on the group and everything. I don't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm very diplomatic. I'm, I have lots of humanity compared to many of you. I know that, but I cannot sacrifice myself and I cannot sacrifice myself and come out. So don't entertain those things in this, in this, in this particular phase, this particular phase, you should be very, very a route to yourself and you should be very very tough to yourself so the things will be on track and the things will be possible for you right so this is what the plan pp books one and followed by repeats two and followed by uh, your mock exams uh, revision three followed by your whatsapp activity four followed by your pro live uh, all these things uh, this is this is five. So you can keep the one one and a half hour for all these activities, and this turns around like six to six and a half hours per day, and rest like I I hope like most of you are hitting that uh, twelve to thirteen hours per day. I, I hope like most of you are hitting that. So leftover will be leftover will be eight hours. Like if you do six hours for this, and leftover will be eight hours. Eight hours you can go with your regular plan, and try to focus more on the volatile things. And one more important thing is. Uh, revision is more important okay means you are just seeing the things which are already done seeing the things which are already understand it seeing the things which are already solved that is called as revision you, you see something like you you open general anatomy and you, you you're just trying to read out this osteology the foramens and everything this is the first time reading it's going to be difficult if you're already done twice or thrice and if you're revising it it is going to be smooth it's going to be okay means there'll be few areas you will be confused Okay, means for example, yesterday we were discussing about this lip prints classification. Lip prints classification, if you're already done from PP books, then it's going to be a revision. It's not something new. So I strongly recommend you to focus more on revision rather than reading a new content. Someone, some of your senior or your friend called and told uh, uh, one book, that book is very extraordinary, uh, very good here. Means don't start new things now. You can do you can do new single liners means a single line or two or three lines or four or five lines new lines related to a particular topic okay don't read new material don't read heavy new materials I hope you got that uh, uh, difference like uh, the thin line of difference what I'm telling don't read new materials don't read new pages read new lines new lines are okay single lines are okay new diagrams are okay new questions are okay means if something it is new it should be less than less than in minutes maybe 5 minutes something new go it but most of your time should be focused on re revising the things means already done now you are opening and trying to revise the things okay maybe some classifications maybe some numbers maybe some concepts confused left side uh, whether it's going to shift to the uh, deviate to the left side or uh, deviate to the opposite side or deviate to the same side some sort of confusion will be there, not for all, for few people. 
That's what I'm telling. Like you read this lip prints classification, but you're confused between two and three or three and four. That confusion part we have to focus on. Maybe Ellis classification, I'm more confused between six and uh, six and seven. I'm confused. I want to see that. So uh, vertices classification. I know vertices. I know veins. I know vertices. But confusion between two and three or confusion between six and seven. Uh, okay. So I'm going to see all those areas. Means revising the things and I'm going to see like uh, I'm, I'm a bit confused about the pH values. I'm a bit confused about the acid-base reaction. I'm a bit confused about the types of meningitis. I'm a bit confused about this volatile contents like classification of uh, your pharmacology. Maybe anti-tubercular drugs. Questions are coming. I'm confused. I don't remember properly. I'll go back and check it. Drug interactions. Questions are coming from so many years. There is a PDF on your oral surgery smart notes. I'll go back and check it. Maybe I, I feel like forensic, I'm not strong. Okay, that five pages of PP book synopsis, I'll go back and check it. Maybe anatomy, I'm a bit scared. It's not going to be possible for you to do everything. So what I do, I go back and check those 15 pages of anatomy synopsis, which is present on your dental belts. So this is how you should plan biochemistry. I'll go back and check those classifications. And vitamins, no need to revise. I can handle, I, I, I am not losing questions on vitamins. Maybe I'm losing questions more on uh, the memory-based aspects of biochemistry, like classifications and all these things. I'm phobic towards them. I'll go back and check it. So this is how your plan should be. Maybe you need to give more importance to uh, dental materials, preferably the impression materials, impression materials, compositions, impression materials. There are lots of uh, things that you have to make in order. Or maybe uh, zones of flame, I have to go back and check it. Maybe a few things related to amalgam, I have to go back and check it. few classifications related to composite, GIC classification, or maybe ortho. The few areas in ortho, I'm, I'm confused. Few areas in prosto, I'm confused. I don't know what to revise. You don't know what to revise, go back to PP books or go back to mock exams or go back to repeats. Very simple. If you don't know and if you're not happy with your preparation, very simple, open PP books and try to just turn the pages. Open your mock exam and try to read the question and answer. Understand the question and answer. Open the repeats last five years, preferably last 10 years, preferably go back and check it. So this is how you should, you should focus on the preparation. You have to do something better, which is going to improve your score. That is the ultimate goal of you or me or any. Why, why sir, you are conducting 25 exams? It's giving, uh, giving 25 exams, giving an exam is difficult or preparing an exam is difficult. You tell me, which is difficult. Preparing a question paper is difficult. Adding an explanation is difficult. Uploading the software is difficult. Or giving an exam is difficult. Okay. So, so we are taking so much pain. Okay. So in order to prepare one question paper. Okay. So we are taking so much pain. So it's so painful for me, uh, particularly, but it's okay. It's okay that because I have some goals in my mind uh, regarding this 25 mock examinations, because those are going to help you out in your final exam. I'm very sure about that because you can see uh, your seniors reviews regarding the mock examinations or uh, there were few people who are repeating it with MDS Conquer. They know the value of mock exams. That is the reason why I see few students immediate exam is they're going to uh, go finish it fast and they're going to come out with the come out with the explanation. Okay, that's fine. That's secondary. So these are the basic things like, okay, so what you have to do in this upcoming 11 days and probably the last three days, what I'm telling the like last four days, three plus one. So last three plus one, my suggestion for you is uh, you should not get confused what to be done in the last three days. You should get prepared to the last three days. Means last three days, you should sit in the chair and you just, you just turn the pages. That's all. So don't keep heavy, heavy books uh, heavy, heavy things. I have to do something in that uh, dental pulse volume three. I have to do something in uh, clinical uh, dentist. I have to do something in Sharon. I have to do something in Sparshagupta. Don't keep heavy, heavy books in front of you. Let's make the preparation very cool and composed. Know what to be done in the last three days. Okay. So you, you keep your checklists on. You keep your uh, uh, checklist, checklist, what to be done and everything because I'm giving checklists regularly. So you decide like, uh, okay, in this three days, I have to do these subjects preferably more or these topics preferably more or these contents preferably more. Maybe I want you to stick on uh, to yourself uh, with some markings. Don't carry that heavy dental pulse. Okay, heavy dental pulse because almost three volumes, it's very difficult for you to handle. So the less luggage, the more the comfort is. Preferably, I want you to be carry less luggage in the last three days. And last, last day, what to be done? Maybe you need to do uh, anatomy for one hour, maybe half an hour anatomy, half an hour, 45 minutes of general anatomy, all those uh, 
stuff related uh, given in the synopsis maybe you need to do uh, uh, i mean like pathology you need to do pharmacology you need to do uh, i think do, i don't think so microbiology is not very important i mean you can handle because uh, microbiology we are vigorously exposing you from all the sites maybe few areas of ortho prosto uh, maybe few areas of community uh, child psychology and pedo Uh, maybe uh, because uh, lengthy case based questions i hope you are doing good extraordinary you are doing good but if you want to be more accurate and more confident maybe oral pathology oral medicine synopsis has to be done extra oral radiographic techniques has to be done maybe diagram based questions not required in the last one day because you are more keen with all those things maybe suturing techniques classifications no need to focus more on oral surgery you can skip it general surgery you can skip it maybe you need to focus more on general medicine physiology biochemistry dm dadh has to be done particularly the eruption sequences and uh, uh, grooves uh, which grooves are seen in which particular teeth all these are confusions difference between uh, left and right maxillary mandibular canines uh, all these things like a few things like you you know that right so what you are uh, what you feel difficult in da and what you feel difficult in dh dh a quick glance of dh maybe a half an hour or one hour of dh in the last one or two days and half an hour one hour of da biochemistry uh, power play books part general anatomy synopsis part maybe a synopsis of physiology in physiology like uh, and you need to have a quick glance about uh, your general medicine notes as whatever you have done particularly the few things that uh, maybe heart sounds uh, heart beats first sound second third and fourth sounds your ecgs your jvps uh, maybe rheumatic fevers uh, your duke's criteria infective endocarditis all this stuff related to cvs uh, few areas of cns upper motor lower motor neuro lesions differences uh, nephrotic nephritic syndromes uh, maybe respiratory volumes capacitance all basics related to your asthma uh, emergency emergencies medical emergencies related to your oral surgery and general medicine so these are the things that you have to give more importance uh, in the last one or two days so you should get you should prepare to do you should prepare uh, in this in this first 10 days you should prepare what to be done in the last 3 uh, to 4 days the 3 plus 4 3 plus 1 i am telling right so you should, and in the last one day you should be very cool and composed okay uh, don't touch the things which you are strong at you should solidly focus on the volatile contents volatile pharma anatomy biochemistry a uh, few areas of far, uh, ortho maybe I, i don't i don't prefer to go with oral medicine radiology in, in the last day maybe i don't i don't go for pedo i don't go for endo i don't go for operative maybe i will be focusing more on dm i'll be focusing more on dadh this this is how you should plan your aerial view for the last one day followed by the before three days don't carry heavy heavy books don't tell that i have to do something in this i have to do something in that but if you want to do be clear be clear with the checklist i, I have done next one i'll open that book so don't keep 10 or 15 books around you and don't imagine that you are going to do all those books in the last four days do you feel like you have done uh, many things from different different sources right uh, can you do all those things in the last four days that's the biggest question mark you cannot do it okay for example you do sharan ortho no you cannot do it so what my point is my point is very clear so should be clear what to be done in the last four days so your preparation is going to be so effective and uh, that's going to improve your confidence levels okay so whenever you have chance like uh, the mobile is the biggest source of knowledge right your whatsapp activities lots of things are happening your, your group has lots of mcqs uh, mock exams are there topic specific are there subject specific are there Uh, no the topic specific are very simple like you hardly have 20 25 questions in each topic and for every subject you have hardly 8 or 10 topics so it's going to be hardly 160 to 200 mcq so you can just scroll keep on scrolling like wherever you feel like you are not clear with the concept just check out the explanation if you are clear just keep on moving the skip button should be next button next button should be used most commonly and wherever you feel like doubt keep a keep a keep a bookmark and wherever you feel like a point to be added uh, keep a keep a like wherever you feel like okay something i need to check this classification add it in the bookmark you can add you can add it in the notes okay so this is all from my side i don't want to eat your brains again and again telling the same thing so you can just follow these things uh, the next important aspect is every alternate today we'll have a 15 to 20 minutes meet like this on uh, uh, on the zoom preferably because i don't want to disturb your instagrams and facebooks and all this irritating stuff for this uh, leftover days 
uh, maybe i'll be i'll be available on zoom and preferably i'll try to keep this uh, recorded version on the youtube okay uh, just to make it more accessible to you guys not to target all, all the others because your rank your achievement is more important for me rather than helping out someone who's following my youtube okay right guys is clear we'll talk about exam centers don't worry anything in specific any any anything in specific don't worry about scores no let it be more genuine don't worry about scores worry about revising the things in in the most smartest way follow the suggestions given on the group prepare the checklist try to revise as much as you can give your best net practice before you go to the final exam before you play in the final exam give the net practice properly here magics will happen in the final exam not here you know that magics are going to happen only on the day of exam if you if you if you feel some extraordinary things to happen you want great scores here or you want great scores in the final exam definitely you want great scores in the final exam so magics are going to happen in the examination hall if you are properly being trained and revised here don't 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 expect some extraordinary scores in these exams i really want to give a tough papers not to decrease your confidence levels to make your final exam more easy Ha. hope uh, we are done with two parts of discussion right 2022 part one and part two how many of you feel like uh, the questions are tough i'm not telling that the exam will be easy i'm telling that the majority of the situations the questions will be easy because you're trained properly because you're you're doing good you're working hard you have good knowledge that is why the question is easy question can be easy only if you are working hard if you have that knowledge only the question will be easy without knowledge question cannot be easy so you decide that the question is easy means you are you are working good your hard work is determining is making a difficult question also easy okay so i mean like uh, that's what i'm telling i want to i want to train you hard so you will feel more comfortable in the exam okay and make sure there were few people who are not able to manage the time properly okay so i want i'm just giving a caution be careful about that be careful practice properly give exam properly don't worry about scores at least you have to learn the time management here because most of the students are able to solve only 200 to 210 or sometimes 220 not able to hit the 200 final exam not all i'm just telling it's a 5% i i i'm just hearing this only from uh, 3 to 5% of students who are not able to do because i was asking them the reason this are not practiced your mock exams at the mark i used to go back and submit the mock exam see the question answer part i don't have such time so they give such uh, reasons it's okay Uh, because we cannot judge uh, the preparation of someone as many uh, other personal responsibilities right so like for example a mother who is having two kids need to manage the house and the clinic we cannot force her to prepare for 12 to 15 hours not possible maybe students who are uh, active interns does not have responsibilities maybe people in the offline centers study rooms yes of course we can stretch our time and we can focus on preparation but preparation cannot be same for all of us okay right so if you have any doubts we can discuss them any questions yaar any questions one day the examination center is in the same city you can go on the same day if it is you need to travel from your village or your town to town to the examination center town to examination center city uh, then it's better you take a uh, you take a proper transport a day before the exam and overnight you stay in a nearby uh, nearby good area maybe a relatives home or any hotel or any any area then you can do it negative markings are too much in gts uh, which is just giving anxiety so there is a video on youtube uh, last session was on negative marking how to handle negative marking and everything i have discussed clearly i've given four or five principles uh, go back and check that mitra you can just ping me on on the whatsapp i'll send you the link of the video you can check it i have already discussed negative marking in the last session anything more guys you should you should be cool yaar when you're cool and composed the functioning of the brain will be more effective do it do do you do you accept this 
your brain will be more effective when you're uh, tense, anxious, or your brain is going to be more effective when you're cool and composed. So try to be cool and composed. It's going to be difficult, but my suggestion is tell yourself, you should tell yourself 100 times. You cannot do extraordinary things here. Okay. You have to control. You have to control your brain. You have to control your emotions. You have to control your frustrations. Basically, the uh, today's session was started with frustration word by someone. I don't remember the exact name of the student. So more frustrated, more anxious, more, more, more. No, we know this. We know this mixed feelings that every one of us have. Even I have from my side. So you should know how to control it. Okay. So that is how the life is going to be. Keep a headset here. Yeah, keep some good songs. Keep 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 some headsets. Uh, walk for at least like uh, fifteen to twenty minutes a day. Don't don't idly sit for hours hours. Talk with your mother. Uh, talk with your good friends who are not from dental fraternity. Okay, don't talk with the people in the dental fraternity. You talk with your friends. So you may have some engineering IT friends. Okay, good friends. Okay, just go back and just talk for just uh, ten or fifteen minutes, or talk with your mother or father uh, who is positive, or just try to hear. Uh, either uh, the MDS Conquer mentors voice notes that's also going to give you some sort of uh, uh, equilibrium state. Okay, so uh, like I used to watch, uh, I used to hear songs. I used to go to. I'm not devotional. I never go to temples. But during the preparation phase, I used to go to temples. It's not I. I I want to worship God and ask the God to give a good rank. But uh, I used to feel that positive vibes in the temple, that sounds and everything. I used to feel that positive. Vibes. So every day, fifth morning, fifteen minutes, and hour, evening, fifteen minutes, I used to go to temple. And whenever I feel frustrated, I used to start with the easiest subject. And whenever I feel frustrated, I used to hear uh, some music. Make sure you take some. Uh, be complex okay so i mean like maybe uh, like if you're feeling uh, ulcers tensed maybe antioxidants vitamin c uh, or b complex uh, suggested and i randomly suggest people also to take energy drinks in the last few days to to make use of your day more effective like few people uh, because of X, Y, Z factors or insomnia, tense, tension and all these things, they may not have a proper sleep to make their day more, more energetic. You can take these energy drinks available in the market, which are filled with caffeine. Few people, they take, they ask you to take either cold coffee or a hot coffee. But it's okay if you don't have the habit of coffee, because I don't take coffees. I don't have the habit of taking a coffee. But whenever I want to be more energetic in the session, what I regularly do is I take a caffeine, a caffeine shot, uh, probably like a Red Bull or a string or a monster. So many drinks nowadays that are available filled with lots of caffeine to make you more active. So if you don't have a habit of taking a coffee, then it's not a bad call to take caffeine for this uh, few days, two weeks. It's okay. No problem. Preferably before you go to exam, uh, maybe a shot of caffeine is going to make you more active. Anything more, guys? Shall we close the session for today? Maybe I'll catch you on 15th again. Shall we? I need your response. Okay, chill with them. Study well. Uh, if you need anything, you can personally ping me. Uh, I'm open to talk with you, but uh, I, I just want to prepare something that's going to make your preparation more effective. I'm ready to talk with you also. No, not an issue. Always with you. Take care. Take care, guys. Study well. Take care of your health. Don't drink anything outside. Don't drink anything, water, anything. Don't drink outside. Whenever you're going out, preferably have a sealed water. You take your regular water. You take hot water. Don't think, don't drink anything. Don't eat anything new also. Okay. So it's going to make your stomach upset or if you're getting fever for two or three days now in this last 14 days, it is not at all accepted. It's going to hurt your preparation so much and you feel bad for that. Okay. So be careful about your water particularly and be care careful about your surroundings. Be careful about your food. These are the three ways where there is high chance that you may get some viral infection. So be careful in this 14 days. Take some vitamin capsules. Uh, take some coconut water, take some buttermilk, uh, make your body more hydrated, study well, do it. I'm with you. We are with you. We are working so, so hard along with you. And I strongly believe that most of you are doing extraordinary beyond your limitations and you will be blessed with 
some great result or a great number like uh, we always prefer that great number we will rock yes we will rock for sure this year we are going to rock and i'm very very happy with your preparation bye take care love you all bye bye